In this video, we are going to upgrade our application to Laravel version number 7 from 6.2. So let's get started. I will refer to this documentation upgrade guide for upgrading. So it is saying it shouldn't take more than 15 minutes. So let's get into it. So first thing we need to, we will need a minimum of 7.2.5 version. So make sure you are using uh, that version. I'm using this Largon and here if you see we are using 7.2.11. So we should be fine. Otherwise you can change uh, PSP version from here. How to add new PSP version. You can refer to this and use that version. So we are fine. We are on 7.2.11. It requires 0.5. So next thing we need to upgrade uh, dependencies Laravel framework to 7 in our composer.json. Let's go and do that. So I'm in composer JSON. Let me make it zoom in a bit. Yeah. So here uh, we will need to make this from this to seven. Also, let me close this. Okay. So next thing we need, uh, if we are using these dependencies, we can uh, change them accordingly. So we are not using PSP unit, although let's change them. Laravel tinker to dot two. Yeah, Laravel tinker fine. Similarly, ignition to uh, 2.0. Where is ignition? Yeah, let's change 1.4 to 2.0. Yeah, that's it. And next thing, if you are using these, you can change uh, their version to this version we are not using any of these packages so we are fine so finally we need to examine our third party package used by our application so we need to verify if they uh, support laravel version number seven or not so if you go to uh, composer.json we are using this package called yeah this cart and another important package is voyager so we need to go to their website and check if they support uh, Laravel version number seven. Similarly, we are using this searchable and these I see it. Yeah, you need to go to them and check. So I'm going to check uh, first this card package. Let's see. So they say they can support five, six, seven, all version. And we don't need to make any version changes. Uh, hopefully, this will pull in the latest package. So if you see here in master tags, there is 4.2.1. We should uh, be fine. So by doing this, it will pull in the nearest version. Okay, so next thing, go to Voyager. Looks like their repository is update, updated constantly. Hopefully, uh, it will support the Laravel version 7, uh, although they didn't mention it here, but yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we are on latest version, 1.4, yeah, 1.3, you can change to, yeah, you don't need to change whenever you run Composer update, it will automatically update to available version in scope in from 1 to 2. So this meaning not to jump from version 1 to 2, but it will jump to whatever latest version 1.4, 1.5. Same thing for this card. You can go to searchable package as well to verify if they are updated. Uh, I don't think, I think uh, searchable package will be fine because they are just using eloquent and nothing breaking change on Laravel 7 on eloquent related stuff. Although they are 
updated five days ago yeah so we should be fine now let's uh, go ahead and run composer update uh, we can see if there is any other changes that we should consider symphony 5 related first method used for application and authentication scaffolding move to ui repository we are using you should install 2.0 yeah you should move it to require section okay uh, yeah we are already on required section we don't need to do anything token repository info method has been added in this method if you are writing custom implementation of this inter interface so we are not writing any custom inter uh, imp uh, implementation of that interface so we should be fine similarly the component method is updated uh, we are not using any component so no need to change in our application so these are uh, low impact changes nothing special date serialization uses new date serialization format so when using to array to json method format serialization now use so we are not using any serialization this kind of method in our application otherwise you need to change them accordingly factory ties totally fine route binding yeah route binding we are not concerned with these so we should be fine we don't need to do anything extra just to make sure i'm just checking so if we are using any third party package for course we need to use our this first party package which is now available to us okay that's it so now we, we have made uh, all required scenes now it's time to make run our command let's open up terminal and run composer update okay while it is pulling all package uh, let me show you something let me collapse this okay so in our project what i have done is i have uh, just improved some link so whenever you uh, now you if you hit on product it will take you to product detail page i have created this detail page so this detail page is already available design i have just um, put make it dynamic by displaying the name price and all other stuff so here it will display image also i'm displaying the custom image so if product got custom image then this image will be displayed otherwise these default image placeholders will be displayed okay so next let's go ahead and just remove these uh, nav items so these are uh, not uh, available so these pages are not available and we don't need these extra pages if you click the and here it will just take us to 404 so let's uh, change that we need to go to our layout file inside layout we have layout folder we have front dot blade and in navigation we have all these dummy sorry where is nav navigation so this is the navigation bar we don't need all these ul's so home should take us to yeah that's it also we won't need this pages part let's format it a bit so that it look nicer also uh, we might not need this shop section so just get rid of these as well blog let's keep the blog in future we might add blog also contact for now let's keep that contact we can make contact page and direct it to that page okay let's go ahead refresh okay so if you see this is for mobile and we need to do same thing for our desktop version so for desktop version we need to go to home dot plate and in home we have those links so this is only available for home page that's why we have put that on home page 
It's the same thing. We can get rid of. Okay, so we have fixed these links. Similarly, I have updated these links. Whenever you hit view, it should take us to detail page. Similarly, add to cart, we'll add that item to cart. Of course, you need to be logged in. So here. And here we can add one more feature whenever you get, uh, apply some coupon code, it should update this total quantity. So which we'll do in a moment, we are using this shopping cart. In this shopping cart, we have some option called conditions, which we can apply to change our total value. So our update failed. It is saying that this Laravel UI, we are using version one. So we are instructed to use version 2.0. Yeah, so 1.0 version was looking for Symphony 6, but we are using version number seven that's why it's it gave us problem so yeah okay so it updated but it gave small error so when i search for this error we have in upgrade guide we have this thing so in app exception handler now should accept the instance of throwable interface instead of exception interface instances so we need to change this to throwable instead of exception. So let's go to app handler, app handler class inside exceptions. So here in this class, instead of exception, we need to use handler. Sorry, what is that? Throwable. Throwable and then use throwable instead of exception. And also change these All right. So we changed our exception instance with throwable. So now we should be fine. So one last time we can run composer update. So this time it won't download everything, just it will reload the cache. Okay, so everything went well, everything updated successfully. So let's go to our application and see if everything is working. Yeah, cool. So now we are on Laravel version number seven. So in next video, I will update this cart with coupon code and we'll handle all coupon related logic. So I will see you on next video. Bye.